What's going on guys, it's Calivy here. Today we are back with the Wellington Phoenix and uh, things are actually looking up in real life for the Phoenix. Uh, last se sorry, not last season. Um, I did fix a change myself. I did say last episode. Oh, Regan Paul, that's right, he got a red card. Oh, Banyak's injured. Durante, you're in. Um, I did say last week that obviously uh, the Phoenix have gone, they've secured a new 10-year license, so things are looking good there. I know Ernie Merrick and Chris Greenacre have, have also signed uh, new deals for the side, uh, the coaching staff obviously. Uh, Costa Barbarosas has been signed for next season as well from the Melbourne Victory, so he is coming home, uh, which is definitely going to help with the striking uh, department, I guess you would say. And Adam Armstrong continuing his strong form. So things are looking up. They also had a good win on the weekend as well against Melbourne City, who have been playing very well. Uh, beat them 2-1 at home. Uh, so that has gone. It's continued to keep them in ninth place. Uh, but they do, well, I guess, you know, they are continuing to go and continue their surge. Armstrong could have had a hat-trick. He missed a penalty in the 82nd minute. But that is a win. We will take it. It will give us a bit of breathing room uh, between ourselves and and the Wanderers. Now five points the difference there, so we will go and definitely be happy about that. that. The suspension's over now for... <clears throat> so what can you expect? What can you expect? Adam Armstrong has scored like 15, 16, 17 goals this season, and you're concerned about your game time. Why would I take off a guy who is scoring a goal? Basically, he's scoring a goal a game. Why would I take him off? It just seems silly. But I can understand that you do want game time. And um, that is fair enough. We'll just quickly have a look at the office as well because we do have some goalkeepers that I think I'm scouting as potential replacements for Glenn Moss as well. So let's go on to the next game. The longest, one of the longest trips, well, the longest trip in the A-League, and it is probably one of the longer trips in domestic football uh, around the world as well, not just in the A-League, but around the world. Wellington to Perth, I'm not sure. I think it's about an eight-hour flight from memory. I've never flown directly to Perth uh, from New Zealand, so, um, but I can imagine it is a long time. Wow. Oh, Armstrong scores again. He's bringing us back into this game, boys. He's going to score another one before the end of the game. He is basically carrying this Phoenix side, but he may not be able to do enough to secure us a win here in the West, which he hasn't done. So a 2-1 win, followed by a 2-1 loss to the Perth Glory. And that's not what we want to do, because the Glory, now they are catching up room. And that third, well, even fourth to seventh, just separated by two points at the moment, and now we are taking on league leaders. We are taking on the league leaders, Melbourne Victory. Uh, let's have a look at this. We do finally have these scouting reports back for these goalkeepers. Izio, not very good. Only 59 overall. Only 60 overall. God. That's not what we want. Uh, yes, yes. Right, player conversations. We're all at the club. I was expecting a bigger role. Riera, you're 33. You're a rotation player. Fransol, I've got to get more playing time. I'm frustrated when I'm not picked. How I, The only way you can get picked, Mr. Soul, is if we change the formation, which we might do. We'll bring, how about this? Armstrong, oh God, what am I, what am I doing? You would think that I don't even play this game. Armstrong, can he play, he can play centre forward, so we'll move him back to centre forward. We'll bring Bonavasia off because he's not playing that well. We'll bring Soul on, just so that way we do have those two out-and-out -out strikers that hopefully will go and make a little bit of difference for us. Bonavasia obviously is still a very good player, but not in the greatest of form at the moment. And Soul, he wants some playing time. We're going to give him some playing time against the big boys, against the Melbourne victory. So let's hope he can go and deliver for us. Score us some goals because Armstrong has been basically a one-man wrecking machine to start things off this season. So hopefully uh, he can go. Great way to start. Picks up a yellow card. Armstrong still in the goals from that centre forward position. That's what we like to see. His long shots have been, those have been the things I've been working on as well. So possibly dropping him back a little bit may help our cause as well. And we will definitely take, we will take a 1-0 win over the league leaders at home. That would be uh, a dream, dream start. And that is looking like what it is going to be. Armstrong with the only goal of the game. 1-0 to the Phoenix. Just like that. And uh, as I said, we're not complaining. We've picked up a win against the biggest club in the league. Moves us into third. Still five points behind second place Sydney FC. And seven points behind the league leaders. But we have gone and obviously made up some ground on them with a win against them today. And Tommy Doyle, he's up to 63 overall now. We've got to love that. Um, it's actually a good story. They were talking about this when I was watching the Phoenix game. I think it must have been last weekend, not this weekend, just been. And um, there was a lot of talk about how players, there are a lot of players that have been 
um, you know, in the A-League and then obviously have been transferred out um, or have been released by their club, shall we say. And now they've come back, so it's good to see that. And I think there was a total, I think there was about 30 players or something who have played in the league uh, under the A-League. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the MPL, the Australian MPL, quite possibly, um, have now obviously come back and are playing for uh, an A-League club, which is good to see. I know Blake Powell's one of them who scored four goals the other week, and uh, Tom Doyle is one as well, but there are players all around the league that are doing that there. So, um, pretty boring transfer window, to be honest. Rufier moves to Bordeaux. Hummels has moved to City. Icardi's moved to Newcastle. I don't. I would never see that happening. And the transfer deadline day has ended. Not much, I think, for the A-League clubs whatsoever. Um, but we're not really too fussed about that too much. We've got another game against the West. West and Sydney, we've got, a, uh, we've got quite a few emails, so we go and read some of these, especially because I think we do have a training injury. No, Armstrong, he's out for three weeks. Who's going to score our goals? Sol, this is your chance. It's really disheartening. I know I'm not one of the top players. Can I get a spell somewhere? I did. I have put you on the transfer list, Alex Roofer. I have put you on the transfer list, but nobody wants to buy you. Okay, so Sol is out. We'll bring Bonavassia back in and bring... Uh, Regan Paul will bring you into the subs, which gives us basically a full bench of substitutions. But Bonavassia can go and play up front. Man, that's a big loss. To lose Armstrong for three weeks, that's a huge loss. Especially getting to this stage of the season as well. Just the nine games left. And uh, we just want to continue, I guess. Probably, uh, realistically, third place is going to be uh, a good finishing spot for us. So hopefully we can go and secure that. Uh, as I said, we've got another game against the West. Let's hope we can go and beat them. Armstrong's gone and our right back Fenton pops up and scores a goal. I know he did score on the weekend. I think him and Redenton scored uh, for the Knicks to obviously go and pick up that win. And Sarpong scores as well. He has not scored in a long, long time. Uh, but he has gone and given us a 2-0 lead here against the Phoenix. Sarpong's actually got two. Sol won't be happy with that though. Sol will not be happy with that. He's complaining about his game time, and he's gone and he's been subbed off in the 61st minute for a defender as well, for a defender. But that's another good win. 33 points, still that five points behind Sydney FC, but six points ahead of Western Sydney in, uh, well, where were they? They were in fourth place. We've got another game against them now. So this would basically be a good chance, I guess, to really distance ourselves from them. Why can't I add a drill on there? Because Armstrong's injured, that's why. So we'll work on you. Work on you, buddy. Shooting. Uh, hitters and volleys. Distance shooting. That's what we want to work on. We'll start doing a bit of training on you. Seeing our boy Adam Armstrong is injured, which is not the greatest in the world. And Rodriguez, good growth by him. Like that. And Sol got a bit of a, an upgrade as well. So things are looking good for this Phoenix side. We do have a lot of depth in the side, which is good to see. And uh, we've got this game against the Wanderers away. At Wonderland, or is it is it Wonderland? Wonderland. I can't remember. It's one of those two. And Roy Krishna standing up. Man, this is what I like to see. When Armstrong obviously is not playing, we're having these other players stand up and scoring for us, which is what we like to see. Hopefully, Scott uh, Soul can go and do that because he's wanted to go and obviously get all this game time. He hasn't scored a goal yet since he's come in. And uh, Mark Bridge has gone and level things up at two two. So uh, we are going to need something. Man, this has been an exciting game. Four goals, two yellow cards. Make that five goals, two red cards, sorry. And McGlinchey steals one at the death uh, for the Phoenix. So that is very, very good there. And Sol continuing to go. He's actually gone up one overall since he has been at the club. So that's good. That's what we want to see. And uh, we'll do a few more because I'm just trying to work things out. Uh, 27 games in a season. So we've done 20 at the moment. So I kind of want to do probably another two. And then that way it will take us to the last four or five uh, towards the end of the season. So if we can go and do that. Oh, player suspended. My goodness. Melbourne City, who obviously uh, fix a problem. Okay. So Tommy Doyle's out. Musket comes in. Armstrong still not 100% fit. We'll bring in Vinny Lear. And yep, we'll stick we'll stick with that side because that side's been working well. We don't want to rush Armstrong back because we want to make sure he's fit and firing 
for the final. So here we go. Now we've got the game against Melbourne City. I think this is round 21. So as I said, we'll do this one. And um, we might actually wrap it up after this. Another red card in just a six minutes. So that's going to be good for us. Hopefully we can take advantage of the numerical advantage um, so early on in the game. Nothing happened so far. And there we go. Sol getting the goal. That's what we wanted to see. Sol goal. I didn't even mean for that to rhyme, but it just seemed to happen like that. And what an uneventful game. After the eventful, eventful game we had last time around, this time we've had one red card. Sol gets another one. You beauty. Two goal Sol has gone and picked up the win for the Wellington Phoenix. I'm going to wrap things up there. We currently sit, as we can see, we are currently in, wow, if Sydney FC slip up, we are only two points behind the leaders, only four points behind the victory now. So we are really starting to go and ramp up our chase for the top two in these final weeks. Armstrong's still the top scorer with 19. Barisha hot on his heels on 17, though. But as I said, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links that can be found down below in the description. Hope you guys have had a good week so far. Make sure you check out Don Bradman Cricket Betting Career coming your guys' way tomorrow. Make sure you do not miss that.